Hello, this is Tara, your teacher. I realized that it might be helpful for me to show you how to make an awl. Um, the, the weird thing over here that I made out of pool noodles, this actually is all storage and any other pokey bit storage. Uh, you actually use a lot of things that poke holes and stuff, besides sewing needles. And it occurred to me that one of the things that makes it so you can make wrist or ring pin cushions is to have an awl. Problem is, chances are you don't have one of those. You might ask your grandmother if there is an ice pick. <laughs> but if you don't, but you happen to have old bottle caps and nails, you can kind of sort of make one that will work in a pinch uh, with a hot glue gun. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So to do this, you need a fair amount of hot glue, a hot glue gun, and uh, a cap Ideally something like this, um, and some kind of reasonably sharp nail. Um, the idea is you're going to make a thing that makes it so that when you push on the nail, the back of the nail does not stab into your hand. That's really the whole point. So, we're going to start with this first one by building up a base. the hot glue in the bottom so that it's less likely to go through. I'm going to put it on high for a little bit so that I can pump out a little more hot glue. That's the main thing that having high heat on hot glue is good for, is pumping out more of it than you have in the uh, most of the time, though, you want to keep your thing on low. Now I'm going to go and put it on low. Now, I have decided that the logical one to use for the little bitty cap is the little bitty one of these. And I'm setting it on top of that hot glue so that there's a little bit of a buffer between the back of the nail and the hot glue bit. The tendency for it to need time to get cool is one of the main reasons you usually want to use a hot glue gun on low, because hot glue gun <clears throat> on high stays liquid a lot longer which is handy for certain types of things, but it means that whatever you're doing is going to take longer to do. Now, on this one, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start injecting some hot glue into the center of this so that it goes about halfway up the end of that. Now, because I have this uh, thing here that is the Reynolds wrap, I can, or the Reynolds, what's this called, parchment paper, I can actually sit it on there and it will dry in that place. And as you can see, the droplets just pick up off of that. And since I want extra bulk in the bottom of this, I'm just going to drop that droplet that's already dried into this one. Now we will wait for glue to dry. If you don't have a cap, you could also use half of a plastic Easter egg. You could literally use an eggshell. That is to say, you know, cook yourself an egg and save the eggshell. use the half of an eggshell to make 
a little container that you could fill with glue to make it into a support for the nail becoming more like a nail. I'm going to hold this here so it doesn't sink into the glue too far, but I want it to kind of get embedded into that part of the glue so that for the rest of the time I don't have to keep holding it to have it stand up. So I've got it about a third of the way from the bottom there. So there's a lot of extra hot glue that'll protect my hand from the back end of the nail going back into my hand. That's why this is probably your best solution if you have the parts for it. One of the reasons it takes a long time for this to dry, whereas hot glue pretty much goes quickly, is because there's so much just hot glue and more hot glue, it, the heat doesn't disperse as easily as if you were putting a line of it on something. And so uh, because the heat doesn't disperse it as fast, it, isn't, it doesn't operate as quickly as hot glue does on it. Now, of the three, this will be the most fragile one, so I would do this for maybe a one-time use. You're not going to get a lot of stuff out of this. It'll break after a bit. But if you happen to have an empty spool and you happen to have a plain nail, this, this is sufficient to stick a few holes in another bottle cap. So. One of the cool things about hot glue is hot glue will always stick to other hot glue. And now I have a thing that will hold it in place so I don't have to. <sighs> now, this is what's pretty well good and stuck. And so again, this is another one you might not use that often. Then again, it doesn't take up a lot of room. You could keep it in a drawer whenever you wanted to go and poke little holes on things. Got a pretty good one going. As I said, this one is the one that's most fragile. If you have a nail like this that is not that, it's sharp, but it's kind of rough on the edges, and that makes it harder for it to work as a nail. But you happen to have sandpaper, or a sanding sponge, or even a handy household nail file. realize I have a lot of holes and I need a place to put them all, uh, and they won't fit in the drawer, this is bits of pool noodle and a spray painted lid from a uh, cottage cheese container. So um, get used to the idea of looking at things not just for what they are, but for what you can turn them into, and what things you can use to make things that are lying around your house. I mean, in a perfect, perfect semester, you would be making all your costumes out of stuff you're fishing out of your garbage. We're still not quite done. I think I am going to stick you in the refrigerator because this is getting tedious. I don't know. So, um, now, oh, now you can see we have one of these, which, since this is dead anyway, we'll use this example. Something to use punch holes with.
on this, but I've shined up, which is why this is so dead. <laughs> um, I can not only use that, I use it to make it bigger. But in a pinch, it also would make a terrific shiv. something to sharpen your nail with, and you have an awl.